Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this AWS machine learning series. This will be the last videos that I will provide you some tips on how you can save some money on using AWS uh, cloud resources. So before we dive into the details, let's take a look on what kind of resources that we have used uh, for creating these hands-on projects. And that includes the AWS, uh, Amazon SageMaker, AWS Lambda, uh, a a w uh, Amazon SN Service, and also the Amazon API's Gateway. So far, I just told you how to create these resources, but we haven't touched on how we can uh, properly delete all these resources. Let's go through them one by one. So for SageMaker, we can open our notebook instant and then go to your project, go to this notebook, and in the and finally, uh, once we remember that we we've created an endpoint to serve our customers to uh, to link it up with our Lambda functions and connect to uh, to our customer with the use of API. So we can use these lines of code to close and delete the endpoint. That is the first things that you would like to do. And then remember, uh, when we train the models, when we build the models, we use the S3 bucket to provide the input and output. Uh, so in that case, we can also delete the bucket by using photo free uh, dot resources, call out the resources, and then call out the bucket. And that is the buckets to delete. And once we have these uh, buckets objects, we can use these objects.all.delete methods to delete everything inside these S3 buckets. So if I run this cell, it will delete the endpoint. And then if I run this cell, it will delete the S3 bucket. Now I've deleted the SageMaker and also the buckets connected to it. The next things that I can delete is the API gateways. And over here, you can see that I can click on the API. This is the API console. Once you are in, you click on the API, you will get here. And then you can click on it and then click on the actions and then press delete. And you can delete this endpoint permanently. Similarly, we can do this for the um, SNS. Go to the topics and then click on it and then click delete. And for the Lambda, go to the functions, uh, go to the Lambda console and then click on the functions and then click on the functions that you are using that you would like to delete and then click on actions and then press delete. But for these two services, I'm not going to delete that because if you, uh, because um, there are some always free Amazon service. You can always go back to these Amazon free tiers to check whether the service are always free, uh, 12 months free, or free trials only. And say, for example, for the Lambda functions, that is um, always free and up to 1 million um, per month, per, uh, 1 million requests per month. For the SNS, similarly, that is uh, always free service and up to 1 million uh, publishers. But uh, on the other hand, for SageMaker, that is more like a free trial, and then that will be a two months free. So in that case, I just uh, remove the bucket, uh, but I still keep the notebook so that just in case, if I need the notebook, I can rerun it. And for the API gateway, we can check this. You can see this is 12 months free, not always free. So um, so you can have 1 million requests uh, received that per month. Uh, I just uh, afraid that I forget, so I just delete that. And finally, for the Sage Rate Maker, remember, uh, go back to the notebook instance and then click on the notebook instance that you are using and then use the stop to stop the surface. 
And that's it for this video. This is a very short one. Just would like to provide you some tips. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.